Hello, welcome to Drawing with Bubbles. I'm back! I thought it was going to be two to three weeks, but it was only one, which I'm happy about because I miss drawing digitally. Although, it wasn't bad to just be able to relax with my sketchbook. But anyways, I am back and I am drawing the Skylar Sisters from Hamilton. And just so you know, Hamilton is like, oh, it's just so great. I love the music. It's fantastic. If you have not listened to it, Go listen to it, the whole thing, bring tissues, it's great. So I'm drawing the Skylar Sisters and performing their first song called The Skylar Sisters, I think that's what it's called, but it, it's them. Um, from left to right, it's Eliza, then Angelica, then Peggy, and I just had so much fun drawing them. The thing with this picture, though, is I started out kind of rough, I was not liking it in the beginning. But after the second sketch layer, I started to improve things, and then the line art was good, in my opinion. And then by coloring, I was getting kind of more confident. And then um, I decided to go all out because I missed a week, and I shaded everything. And I'm very happy with how it looked. And I'm glad that I'm happy with how it looked, because I would not want to screw up on a picture of such amazing people. Um, yeah, again, just watch Hamilton. I should probably talk about drawing the drawing. <laughs> so, um, right now I'm working on the line art. I started with Eliza on the line art, but I actually did Eliza last with the coloring. Um, there was no reason to that at all. It's just whatever layer I clicked on first, I colored that. So, now I'm doing Angelica. You can notice, I did, like, the head, the hair, the bodies first, but then I came back and did the starts after that. And then I did Peggy after I did Angelica and Eliza. Um, you can also notice with Angelica's hair, it might look kind of sloppy with like the curls that I was doing because I was just like making little S-shaped lines. But the thing is, her hair is such a dark color that once it's colored and then shading on top of that, you really don't notice, at least in my opinion, <laughs> it's good enough. So, I'm almost finished up on the line art here, and now I'm starting with coloring. I did alter the colors a little bit, like, um, I think in the play, Angelica's dress is more orange, and Eliza's dress is more of a green than, like, the teal that I put on, but I just, I like how the colors go together better when it's the colors that I put on there, so, um, you know, artistic liberty, guys, I can do whatever I want. So, yeah, I'm running out of things to say. You can see I'm doing all the shading. Um, so, a lot of my shading was um, gradients because I did each color on a separate layer. So, say I would have a layer for skin, a layer for the dress, a layer for her hair, a layer for all the stuff on the face. Just so that when I was doing the shading, I could just... Um, click the lock transparent pixel so I could only go in the colored spot and then add a gradient and the gradient only appears in that spot and then it's just a lot easier and then after I do the gradient I go in with either a shade or a highlight and then I just add a few more marks of my own and then I just like how it looks together with the gradients and my own shading. One thing I would like to point out is that while I was drawing this picture my computer was not cooperating and I felt like just, like, giving up at some points because it was being so slow and uncooperative. But I really, I knew I had to get this done because I'm recording this audio on Thursday, so I couldn't put it off anymore. So I pushed through, but I will point it out later, but there are some moments where there's some... <sighs> not fun parts. <laughs> now I'm adding shading to the eyes. I actually color the eyes, um, like the whites of the eyes. I don't leave them... I didn't leave them white in this picture, I actually colored it a very light bluish gray, and then added some highlights and shading to that. And then you see I did uh, Peggy's little frilly things, and I colored them red at first. That's just so I could tell what I was coloring, because it'd be pretty impossible to color them white. So I just colored it red, and then I went into the hue and saturation bar, and then I just slid the lightness all the way up so it'd be white, and then that's all I had to do. And then I reduced the opacity so it looked more like the material that it is or whatever. I don't know. 
And now I'm on to the last person that I'm going to color, which is Eliza. And here is where my computer screws up. Um, it looks like it was just for a second, but that little barf it did on the screen, that was a few minutes long, and it was not fun. And I was hoping that I would not lose all my work, which I didn't, which was very good. Um, almost done with the coloring on her, then I'm just going to finish up the shading on her hair and the face, and then I'm going to color the liner, and then I'm going to be done. Um, this, book, this picture took a while longer than some of my others because, of course, it's three people and I shaded it. So, um, yeah, <laughs> it's hard to think of things to say when there's just, like, you know, a bunch of just dresses that I'm all coloring the same way, so. But, yeah, here's the finished illustration. Happy New Year, and remember to rate, comment your suggestions, and subscribe. Bye!